So, good evening guys. Um, so, a while ago, you might have watched, um, if you're interested, uh, my sort of getting fit uh, sort of regime as such. Uh, out mountain biking again. Um, doing mostly road riding at the moment, just to try and build up some fitness to actually get off road um, and sustain you know, some decent mileage. Um, but we got Wednesday evenings quite a bit and even Sundays if we can. Um, possibly Mondays as well. Um, but through September the weather was pretty poor so we missed out on quite a bit unfortunately and uh, also my GoPro was uh, back um, at the shop basically um, waiting for either a repair or replacement I got a replacement so we've got a brand new one back which was nice um, obviously the Hero 8 is coming out in the next week or two so um, but the Hero 7 is, is still fabulous and I've not used it in the dark so I thought you know what it's a good test just to uh, actually try it out in the dark or low light and it's actually not too bad it's pretty good I was quite impressed actually and even once it gets really dark when uh, we have the lights on and everything I have actually got a light on by the way but it was um, just on low there you go yeah so actually it wasn't too bad um, in the low light stuff I mean you can see here it's obviously very dark around the outside edges but actually it worked pretty well especially with a, a bit of street light every now and again obviously Simon's on his bike and he had lights on um, but it worked really really quite well it's just another um, just a memory really and just um, keeping an eye on my progress slightly I'm definitely fitter than I was uh, but unfortunately like I say the last few weeks where the weather's been terrible we haven't really been out much which is a bit of a shame because you kind of I've got back into it and you really enjoy it and you know even though this morning after the day after the ride I was a little bit stiff um, so I've definitely got to stretch more uh, once we get back and, and finish riding but uh, all in all it was uh, it was a really nice ride actually. It threatened to rain. It did a little bit, which is actually slightly cooling. Um, but yeah, so um, I tried a hyperlapse, which is right at the end of the video as well. And actually, I was surprised how well that worked. Um, it's obviously doing slightly longer exposures. So anyway, uh, enjoy the video. So this bit here is actually quite a steep hill, and uh, it has got a name on one of the Strava bits, I think, um, which people kind of don't like it because it's quite an, quite an evil hill because it starts off shallow and just gets steeper and steeper. Um, but I did it, um, almost fell off <laughs> near the top because a, a car distracted me and then I tensed up my, um, my leg muscles uh, on my calf, left calf and basically just messed me up which is a bit annoying but uh, anyway, keep watching Cat again Oh, shit. <laughs> that takes me. Ah. <clears throat> Cramp right on the left fucking thing there. Huh? Looks like my shoulder over turning left, so I, I hesitated slightly and then I went oh, like that and locked, you know, in your leg. Um. Like over tenses. <laughs> well, I made it anyway. Yeah. Uh, using the right gear, ready? I'm still like. Dogs, but it sounds weird. Yeah. Someone messaged me. I don't know if it was Andy. Eh? Let's do this shit. No, I don't think I realised. The battery was flat as a dodo, so obviously never been used since they've done it. Everything was wrapped up new, so I don't know. So, yeah, it cost me 40 quid instead of fucking 108. Don't really care. <laughs> this, should cost, this should took me two seconds. That's actually quite impressive, isn't it? Like this is thousand, isn't it? And that's supposed to be 1600, you said. Similar, isn't it? Yours is more spread. Uh, I probably fall off with my drive. No, it's still on the spot, so I think. Yeah, it was just more focused. 
work as well, do that. Well, I think it is. Fairly accurate now, so well, yeah, it's an older turn, doesn't it? But I mean, that's not bad for the money, is it? Diesel TT, that's just seems pointless. Huh? Yeah. Bright lights in there. Easily drive and like, ride around places with this, can't you? In the dark, pretty, um, pretty quick, I imagine. Mm. How much is the mount? Eleven quid. Proper lens, yeah. it's not a lens one. Yep. This is nice the point of buy. Yep. It's got a rubber strap right over the top, like a rubber loop. Oh man, it's such a gay gear. <laughs> that's, on, that's on GoPro as well. Shitty pants. <laughs> yeah, hit the bush, yeah. <laughs> I was doing that at the time as well. Mega lighting. Well, it's not mega lighting, but nah. Um, I'll order a new battery. Lumen uh, X18 or something. It's like three LEDs on a smaller head. Yeah. Over a time. Are you right? Yeah. Oh, this car goes. Oh, come on, see where he's going first. Let's have a breather. Fuck you now. Yeah, but I'm guessing a slow car. Or not. Oh, snail! <laughs> is it? You might have killed it. What the fuck is that? It's got to be a deer. Made loads of fucking noise. <laughs> yeah. This is being chased by something big. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, cold bollocks. Right, yeah. They are called bull bear. Yeah, Right front of you. <laughs> He's a silly Billy.
we were taking it. That's like the camera. As you can see, I've turned it to the hyperlapse uh, function, and it's at one, uh, yeah, five times. Sorry, the uh, usual speed. Um, yeah, it worked really well considering it was uh, low light and everything. Uh, yeah, no, so good ride and all. Um, definitely felt the difference um, of fitness and the hill climbing because obviously it's mostly hilly where we were going. Obviously, you come back down the hills, but we we sort of do a loop. Um, but really, really good. Uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, I'll be out again soon. And uh, just got to keep at it. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the notification bell, and I shall see you soon.